If you're too scared to bid at auction, you'll want to avoid this predictable mistake. Choosing the wrong person and not giving them clear instructions can spell disaster. Of course, if you're petrified and think you'll freeze, or if you just can't trust yourself to stick to a limit, then it's probably a good idea to get somebody else to bid for you. Often a confident friend or family member is happy to volunteer. And this can be a good thing if they can be trusted to keep a level head, but you do need to be wary. When looking for someone to bid for you, be careful of family or friends who say they're good at bidding. They often have absolutely no idea of what it takes to be a good bidder. They may think that being aggressive is the only trait they need. What you need is someone who is respectful of the big step you're taking. And the most important thing is that you instruct them properly and you must be able to trust that they will follow your instructions. You need to decide in advance of the auction what your maximum bid is going to be. Make sure you have really pushed yourself to your maximum comfort level for that property before setting your limit. There's no point having regrets after the auction as you don't get a second chance. And if the person you've chosen to bid for you is likely to offer you some financial assistance, have this discussion before the auction. Too often we see hurried promises made in the heat of the Mm. moment. They're often unwise and can lead you to overpay. Want to be an educated first home buyer? Check out our online course for first home buyers. Avoid costly mistakes, make smarter decisions and get into your first home sooner. Why waste time doing things the hard way?